Hey guys, long time no see, it's Andy and I'm here with a new video for you guys. I know I've been MIA the past couple of months, it's because I'm preparing for my graduation and stuff like that. So, you know, I have my finals early, I have to like take care of clearance and stuff like that. So it's really been busy. That and also I'm also the president of uh, the org that I'm part of, so I have extra work and yeah, extra stresses too. But <laughs> never mind that. I'm here and I've got a video for you guys. So in the past, uh, I know Say and my sister Sab, they've uploaded uh, a video about Ever Belenis Matte Lipstick line. So I decided to do one as well, so that um, you know there are more reviews up there, and you can it can help you decide um, whether you should purchase it or not and stuff like that. So the first things first, um, what I want to talk about is the packaging, and uh, it's very, I say it's matte actually. It's not a shiny finish. It's um, you can see it. It kind of has a matte feel to it. It's very simple, and they've got um, the color on top of here, like the sample. And I liked how say uh, coined the term color caps. That's very ingenious of you, say. <laughs> Um, so there, but the only thing that I don't like about the packaging is the color, like it kind of falls off easily, like if you drop it, it'll go away. I know I have one here that doesn't have a color cap because it, it dropped it and I couldn't find the color cap. Um, this one, this is this one's in love that red, and yeah, no more color cap because I don't know, my lipstick collection fell because I accidentally bumped into it and then I couldn't find it, I couldn't find it. But anyway, so that's it for the packaging. As for the lipstick itself, you can see that it's really matte. And indeed, it really is. It really is. And indeed, it really is matte. And I've heard that people don't like this line so much because it's matte, it's dry. And, I'm, and for me, that's the reason why I like it actually. Because when you have matte lipsticks, they, te they tend to last longer because there's no gloss, it's nothing slippery, so it won't. Ugh. So yeah, it's matte, no gloss, no slippery things, and it won't slip off your lips so easily. So I'm totally in love with this line. So much that I actually bought every single shade of it. Jana, one of the Pinai gurus that I follow, um, heard a rumor that they were going to be discontinued and be replaced by something better. Um, I don't know how it could be better because it's already a good line. And they're going to be sold for like a lot more expensive than they already are because right now um, when they first came out they're being sold for 125 but right now they're on sale for 99 pesos so you can get yourself um, like a couple of tubes so I got paranoid and I hoarded some um, shades <laughs> and yeah so that's why I, I, I've actually completed the whole line <laughs> And uh, I'm thinking of actually buying some extra ones for my favorite shades. Anyway, let's move on to the shades. Um, well, the one I showed you earlier was from the pinks, but I'm gonna start with um, the nudes, which is mauvey and skin. And these mauvey is the was the very first lipstick that I bought from this line because I was um, looking for a nice nude um, lipstick like everyday nude, it's what I called it, everyday nude. So I wasn't going for like pale nude or like skin nude. I was going for like something more of the pink. So I was looking around and, and then I talked to my friend who's also a like a makeup enthusiast and she told me that um, she really, really loved the pink that she bought from the matte line. She really loved it. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try it out now. So I bought this and when I came home, I tried it on. I instantly fell in love with it, so that's what like opened me up to the lipstick of Everblended because I hated their lipsticks. Like because I bought some lipstick from them and I really didn't like it. <laughs> there we go. This is the first one I ever had, and that's what it looks like. It's just a very nude pink. Yeah, and I'm gonna like put on swatches in my blog. I don't know how soon I'll get on that, but I will eventually. It's just that it's very taxing <laughs> to do swatches of every lip color here. Like all in all, there are 12 shades. And this one's skin. This is, and this one's the really nude one. Like it really matches my skin. 
I wore this for a party and I posted a picture of my like of me and my friends and that during that party it's up in my blog it's and I you know I posted it for like RT46 and you know drama sakes drama sake <laughs> you can check that out and uh, okay that's it so let's go now to the pinks they have two pink colors other than other than the mauve and that's in pink flame and offbeat pink you've seen uh, this in my like holiday haul video and um, pink flame is like a honeysuckle color and I, I did this uh, I did a look with this I think it was my new year look because I really loved it like I thought I could never carry pink but then I wore it I was like damn I can carry pink <laughs> And this one's in offbeat pink. I think this is the Barbie pink that one that my friend was telling me about. And uh, moving on to the reds, they also have three reds, and those are Storm, Scarlet, and love that red. And there we go. And uh, love the red. Is your generic red one? It's I just love that red, right? Like it's blue based. Storm is more of like maroon based. Ah, it's new. There we go. It's like a brick wall. You know, that's the color. That's whenever I see it, it's like a brick wall. And it's my favorite out of the reds because it's like dark but not too dark. Scarlet is an orange based uh, lipstick. You can see, woo! orangey yeah very bright and I wore this like when I attended May Day it's a music festival that's held in Cobao Expo and it doesn't look as orange for some reason in the photo that I posted in my um, blog but you can check it out if you want and for some reason like the the color that has the most shades is actually the brown based ones it has they have five shades of it you know so I actually tr avoided buying these shades because I'm not really into browns and stuff like that but then I remembered um, my days in the 90s I didn't wear makeup that much but I didn't wear makeup that much but um, when I did my lipstick would typically be in the brown shade and I also just wanted to expand my lipstick collection so for the um, for the brown shades this one's in mirrored boca. This is a very like everyday brown color. I actually like it. I thought I would like it because it would be like bleh, too dark for a day, but it's actually good. This one is Toast of New York. There we go. It's a brown with a, a maroon or a brick red undertone. It's kind of similar to Port. You can see they look similar I think this is lighter just a tad bit lighter and yeah similar and the last two is um, dusk which is the darkest of the browns there we go now this is like a like a brown with a maroon base I know not a maroon base a burgundy base yeah it's really dark it's the darkest of the browns and this Last one is Shanna's, and it's a brown with like a red or a pink. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the Everblend and Matte Lipstick Collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll post um, sw uh, swatches soon. And feel free to visit my vlog. And um, yeah, I'll see you in our next video. Bye!